I feel like I'm on an island, <laughs> and I'm really not. <laughs> you are not. You are in the seventh district of Virginia. Um, and Brenda, let me let me talk a, a little bit about this. Thank you for continuing to raise an issue uh, that continues to matter to Virginians. Thankfully, we're making progress, which I'll talk about in a minute. But you highlight the very vital point, which is until there are no more Brendas uh, who do not have internet access or their only option uh, is to utilize expensive and unreliable satellite, the problem exists and I will continue to work on it. So let me give you a couple updates of things that are valuable um, or, you know, it, work that we have done, that I have done, pushing us in the right direction. Um, importantly, I've worked on broadband connectivity since I was first elected in 2018. Um, everything from additional funding to USDA programs, additional funding uh, for um, grants that are you know, vital to efforts on the ground. Um, I have brought um, folks from the federal government, from USDA, from rural development, um, from the FCC to our district so that they can understand um, how incredibly important and negatively impactful the lack of broadband internet is. For better or for worse, the fact that I can bring someone a mere 40 miles, you know, 60 miles from Washington, DC, and there's no broadband internet, is a, uh, thankfully, a strong kind of snap to reality. So Brenda, change is coming, investments are coming. I have been working on this. Um, I deeply regret uh, that while we've made tremendous progress for some of our neighbors in the seventh, uh, you have not felt it yet, but I promise you, uh, we are continuing to work on this. We are continuing to move in the right direction and, uh, there will be a day when you have internet outside of that unreliable satellite dish. 